this weekend. We're out on the road for the final time as we face a buoyant swan side. It's <laughs> just pull me off. Okay. Okay, ready? <laughs> this weekend, we're out on the road for the final time as we face a buoyant swan side in Wales. Can you believe it? This weekend is our last away trip of the season and the stage is set for a real battle with Swansea in with a chance of qualifying for the Europa League. Now as for us, we're looking to finish as high as possible and it could also be Wilfred Bonny's first return to the Liberty Stadium since joining us in January. We caught up with Bonny earlier this week. Well, your first time back at Swansea this weekend, how are you feeling about that? I feel excited. I think that will be a great game and happy to come back there. Looking forward to seeing the Swansea fans again. What kind of reception do you think you're going to get? I don't know. I don't know. I hope it will be good. That's what I wish, but uh, we will see. I'm sure you've been keeping an eye on where they're up to in the league and obviously a huge result for them against Arsenal. Yeah, I think it's good for us to, to give a chance to keep the position, the second position. So I saw them Day, day of the game, so just uh, say hello and wish them good luck for the game and I think they've done well to win, so it's a great result. They're in with a shout of Europa League as well, so does that make them even more of a threat for this weekend with that to play for? Yeah, yeah, it's good, that's why I say it will be a good game. Uh, for them, uh, they are in a good way to to be on the, on the position to play Europa League, but uh, we have to keep up a position. And I think we'll do our best to win there. Well, ahead of the game, Sami Nasri remains the only player out injured. And after four wins in a row, the big question is whether Manuel Pellegrini will stick with the same starting lineup that claimed victory over Spurs in QPR. Uh, we'll see tomorrow the start of 11. Uh, and then we'll see if they start or not, or they con we continue with the same team. It's the decision that we, I will take between tomorrow and today and tomorrow. What have you made of Swansea this <coughs> season? How good have, have they become as a Premier League side? Well, I think they, they, they have a very good season. They are playing first because they are playing, they are playing well. After that, because they have an important amount of points. They are fighting for try to reach one uh, position in uh, Europe League next year. So I think it's a very good season for them and surely they will want to, to finish in the same way. And we all know how important eating the right food is for the players. So we're helping pass that knowledge on to the next generation. In honour of Jamie Oliver's Food Revolution Day, we invited local school children to the Etihad Stadium for a healthy eating lesson and we thought it would be the perfect opportunity for our latest Challenge Chappie. So in honour of today's Food Revolution Day, we've set Chappie's most bizarre challenge to date with the help of Nicole and Darcy. He's going to make a player's face from these vegetables. Who are you going for, chap? We've decided, because we're playing Swans at the weekend, we've decided on Bonnie and the girls. And, Tough uh, task. Well, we've got uh, this that could represent his hair, which helps. Yep, it's a good start. So, if you want to start making the fairs... Girls, how are you feeling about the challenge? Um, I'm worried. <laughs> Don't be worried. Come on, we're going to do this, right? Yeah, yeah, but I am worried a lot. It doesn't matter if it doesn't look exactly like him. We'll just, we'll get away with it. <laughs> you could use one of those for his mouth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so that is it. <laughs> You could do circle carrots and then put some pepper for the inside of his eyes. And you've got a bit of a stem and then the end bit. Something like that. Okay, so what we're doing now, we're doing Bonnie's beard. We're running out of cress here. He's got so much hair. <laughs> We need to make the mouth look like a mouth, so you need two of those, I think. And then you've got top lip, bottom lip. Nice. Now, the... Ooh. <laughs> now we're talking, chap. Now. now we're talking. 
But we think our effort is looking pretty good, but I'm going to draft in an independent adjudicator. Vic, you've taken plenty of pictures of Bonnie in your time. How does that compare to the real thing? Yeah, I mean, yeah, um, it's quite close to the real thing. You've got his hair there and that's looking great. He's usually got a beaming white smile, so that's close, but no. slightly red today. Red, but today it's still a big smile, so that's good. Well, that's the latest from me, Chappie, and of course, Bonnie. We'll see you next week. I'll just try his left eye. Ooh, my balls fell out.